Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not as that may be meant for someone else. All right, I'm gonna use my Green Witch Tarot. See what's going on with Capricorn. All right, 10 of Wands. I feel like you're struggling with com com completing something. I feel like it could have to do something with, with work. Having patience with a relationship. I feel like you're also struggling with having patience in a relationship. Um, but you're struggling to, com I feel like you're struggling to com complete something. It could be that within a relationship, are you struggling trying to find the balance between your relationship and work? Yeah. I feel like there's something new that you're starting or there's something that you want to pursue and you're having trouble struggling, trying to figure out, okay, trying to balance the time that you spend with your relationship and you spend on your work or your job. And that is definitely a hard thing to do, especially if you're starting a new business or you're starting a new job or, you know, you have something that you want to pursue or you want to do. And it's like you want to be able to put as much effort into that as you can. But if you're in a relationship, um, it's hard to be able to do both sometimes you become overwhelmed I feel like you're kind of overwhelmed with that ten of wands I feel like you're kind of overwhelmed with a situation bottom of the deck the high priest which is number five and that is the hierophant um, let's see I feel like you have to make sure that, let's do this two of cups. I feel like you have to make sure that you have that communication with your partner. It's especially hard if your partner is someone who is used to being you being around a lot or demands a lot of your time. Um, here we go, two of cups again, because I was like, let me look at that two of cups. So it's two of cups. I just feel like with, I feel like it's reaching out and I feel like it's making sure that you communicate with your partner about what's going on. And if your if your partner feels more needy, maybe it's time to sit down and have a conversation with that person and say, well, why do you feel, you know, if that person's feeling needy, why are they feeling needy and what do they need from you to make them feel more secure so that they don't have to stress about you spending time with this. Um, I feel like the success is making sure that you work things out with your relationship first before you head into this new venture because you want to make sure that your partner is clear with, with what's going on. Or if you have some people or someone around you that, that may not understand or that you know you have to, that you spend a lot of time with, that you make sure that you're clear about what's going on and why you need to do that and that if you're starting this new project that you're going to have to spend a lot of time with it but it doesn't mean that you um, don't care about this person but it's like something that you have to focus on. I feel like you kind of have to take that time to make sure that you sort through everything and so that you're able to present the situation to the person clearly. I feel, just feel like you have these this burden on you right because this is something that you've been waiting for whatever the seven of pentacles is I feel like this is what you've been waiting for and this is what this opportunity is coming in for you to try this new thing but I feel like you also have to make sure that this this two of cups that your relationship is secure that your relationship is okay um, 
before you head out and do it. And I feel like it's almost like preparing, like by looking at this and doing this before you get started with this, that this is going to alleviate future problems. Because if you're looking at this now, I feel like you have to have the strength and the confidence to be able to deal with this situation first, which is what I was kind of heading towards is that even though you would like to just jump in and go ahead and do this, I feel like preparing your partner for this first about what's coming on and sitting down and having that conversation with them first gives them the sense of security before you head in and do it. Because I feel like this is something that's very important to you. I feel like you definitely are worried about the situation and I feel like that needs to be alleviated because you want to be able to focus 100% on this nine of cups that you have here, the seven of pentacles and this nine of Pe cups. I feel like it's kind of this thing that you want to pursue and you want to start doing and you want to work on this, right? Um, I feel like whatever this represents here, this nine of cups, that you want to do because we have the two of pentacles which is in between balancing right because that's what the two of pentacles is is balancing different areas of your life so that it there's not this you know friction in one area where you're having to put all your energy or effort into that let's see is there anything else i'm kind of looking at yeah I feel like in the past you kind of let go what it was with that it was important to you and I feel like you kind of focused more on your relationship and you kind of let go of the things that you wanted to do but I feel like now is the time for you to focus on what's important to you. I feel like um, it's I feel like it's going to make you happy and it's going to make life easier for you. I feel like it's something that's going to bring you excitement and happiness and I feel like it's something that you've been wanting for a while, that it's, it's important to you. I almost feel like if you don't do it, that this could cause some friction um, between the two of you. Um, that it, Because I feel like this is important, but I also feel like you have to express to your partner that this is important to you. And I almost feel like if you... I almost feel like you kind of want to choose this over the relationship, but you're trying to figure out a way to work through both things. And that could be why you have this 10 of wands here that you're struggling with and you feel like there's a burden because you, I kind of feel like you, you've done without for so long. And now this opportunity has come up for you to do something and you want to pursue it. And I feel like kind of how your partner reacts to this is really something that's going to tell you a lot, right? We have the tower, we have the two of wands and we have the six of cups. I love it because that sharing with your partner, how important this is to you and how you've given up things in the past and how you want to focus on, you know, your dreams and your desires and your nine of cups and that you want to go after that. And that maybe you've supported your partner in things. And now you feel like it's time for you to have your time and for you to shine. The Empress growth, definitely growth. And for some reason, I just had in my mind is to make sure that that if your partner says they're going to support you, make sure that it isn't like, I felt like conditional, like for some reason I was, I was like, you know, they're like, well, I'll support you, but you have to give me this. I feel like it's kind of like your partner should support you because they know how important it is to you and how much this means to you and how much you've sacrificed before and how much you've sacrificed for them. I feel like just be careful of that, that if, you know, they're putting ultimatums on, you know, what's going on here. I feel like that might be something for you to look at, um, for you to see. That may or may not happen. I don't know. That's just a thought that came into my mind. But I feel like by doing this and you pursuing this, again, making sure that you communicate to your partner how important this is, I feel like it's kind of making, it will make your relationship stronger because you will see how much your partner is really there to support you and how much your partner cares for you and that you do have that partnership and that give and take within the relationship. And if it doesn't work out that way, then I feel like that may be something that you have to look at, you know, if that person puts conditions on it or they're having a big fit about it or they're not, you know, supporting you, then I feel like that may be something that you need to look at. 
Um, so I feel like it's kind of going to reveal something to you on, on what, what happens with this. All right, so let's grab a learning tarot card to close out this, and then we will get a Whispers of Healing. All right, yeah, look at this, because that's what I was saying. I feel like it's a new job or a new business that you want to, to start. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, and it represents prosperity. It's a yes card. A financial new beginning, new financial opportunities, new job, new business, money, investment, savings, prosperity, security, stability, abundance, manifestation, right? So that's what I was kind of feeling here with these two cards is that there's something new that you want to start, but you have to deal with your relationship first. Like you have to make sure that there's that balance between the time that you spend and there's that communication, letting that person know how important this is to you. Again, as I was saying before, that if you prepare the person ahead of time and you communicate with them and you let them know what's going on, they'll have more of an understanding rather than you just doing it and spending a whole bunch of time doing this and then that creates friction within the relationship. All right, so we have unexpected. Sometimes we kind of think how the person's going to react, but then you may have an unexpected surprise because the person is like, thank you so much um, for letting me know ahead of time, or I feel like there's unexpected rewards coming in for you, or it could be an unexpected opportunity with this Ace of Pentacles, because we have the Ace of Pentacles and then unexpected, so it could be a new opportunity that's coming in for you, or something pops up, or something comes through, or, you know, something follows through, so I feel like it's definitely something that you want to pursue, um, but just making sure that you have that communication between you and your partner so it doesn't cause any extra friction. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.